Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A to Z series, which we're now starting as Lanius's Cohort, one I've been actually looking forward to very much. We have orders from Kaisar though, four months ago. Kaisar summoned Lanius to appear within his 10th Citadel flagstaff there. He gave an important order to the renowned Legate. Lanius, I need you to take Dog City. I'm going to need the wealth that Denver has to offer if I am to cross the Colorado and take the dam. I'm going to entrust you with a handful of cohorts and trust that in five years you accomplish this mission. Take any longer and I'm going to consider you a failure and mark you for death as anyone who has failed me would. Show those prolificates no mercy. Yes, my Kaizar. So I was given a mission. We got to conquer Dog City before January 1st, 2280. The day passes and Lance has still not accomplished this. it will be branded as a traitor and marked for death. And I get Lance's deadline. Interesting. That's actually really cool. Also, let you know we're using Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio, State Extension Tool Mod, Old World Blues Tech Expansion, Old World Blues Generic Decisions Revamped. We're also using a sub mod for this as well called Old World Blues Unleashing the Monster, which gives Lanius a, about 27 new, more focuses at the bottom of his tree. So these are kind of different and new here, actually, at the bottom, because I want as, I want as much as we possibly could do for Lanius here. Um, but uh, we'll see what happens, you know? I really don't remember. I've played him before, maybe once, twice. But Champion Mars. Kaisal gave Lanius a job. He wasn't about to fail it now. We have no stability, but we have a little bit of war support, and I forgot to take these guys away. Um, you guys are the special forces. Yes, you are. We love our special special forces. Um, I don't like these guys. You're going to become a Bellatis. Bellatis. I'm going to separate you guys for now. Boop, boop, boop. Because we want to go to war fast. Oh, we don't even have someone here to do this. Okay, then. All right, so... Intelligent, strong, versus loyalty, versus loyalty, perhaps separate than strong. You're pretty good on the attack, which means I want to put the special forces with you guys. That'd be good. You do this. Bop, bibbity. And Blue Rose Society might be the ones that die first, or maybe it's Archdiocese. I honestly cannot remember. Uh, regardless, you're going to become inspirational. Go on, train, we need to. And the Legates Cohort. These men will come with Lannis and be forged by the flame of Colorado or die trying. The Beast of the East. Lannis was the greatest warrior of the Hyde Barks, one of the greatest foes the Legion faced. Or was he born a slave whose natural talents let him become a legion legionary at the age of 12? Or is it true that he slaughtered all the males in his tribe, or were they assimilated into the Legion? Only Khazar and Lannis knew for sure, and they aren't talking. What is undeniable is that Lannis is among the greatest leaders of the Legion. Some call him a savage brute, <clears throat> but there may be more to the man behind the mask than they know. Lannis' cohort will receive default major status in the world. Natural leader of the men. Ransack coring mechanic. When coring a state, damages existing infrastructure to gain caps, infantrymen, and command power. Huh. Charismatic. Rans oh, we get ransacked no matter what. A Agile, charismatic, lucky. Some are born lucky. Land is born lucky to be born. Hmm. Some other. He is smarter than Kaiser himself. Ooh. I like lucky. I like all of these. Um. You know what? This is our story. We're intelligent. We're smarter than Kaiser. The Lambda tribe, for one to rise, another must fall. But Lannis himself, he has no mercy. Hurts to construction speed and research speed a lot. Better training time, better annexation core costs during peace conferences, which means nothing. Way better equipment capture ratio and way worse resistance target. And who are you to become, or who are you to come before me? One does not simply describe Lannis. Swift, honest, purchased with blood. The Legion's resources are vast, but not infinite. Lannis had to choose who to bring with him to the east. Some said the strongest, skilled firearms. Some said a horde of fanatics, ready to kill and be killed. And some said the swiftest, but the decision with Lannis is alone. A well-equipped expedition. Steel army. For a year, you get motor chairs, get more better production costs, soft attack, and growth. Survivors will gain skill. Uh, you get better chariot cost. Survivor's army. Worse support attack reliability, better growth. Interesting. The chariots thunder across the plains. Really bad production cost, but way more soft attack. What do we have here? The training grounds? I do want to go to this war as fast as we can. Um, I, I like that idea. Summers Federation, Apache Assault, Archdiocese, Plucking the Rose. Uh, the people of Rose, Roswell think they can hide their secrets from us. None can hide from Mars's gaze. What's over here? Tribal Hastati with hired cohorts, huh? They have more population, I like that. Ooh, that's not bad either. We have only three research slots, too, which is not great. Uh, command power and whatnot. Woe to the vanquished, the Lambda tribe of New Mexico were enslaved without mercy, much like the Hydebarks were. To show us victory, Landis named their chief village the staging grounds. As for the tribe itself, behold more slaves. Ooh. They joined Legion's ranks. Four more steel. Well, do we need more steel? Or scrap metal, I should really say. Technically, yeah, but we'll conquer enough that we're not really concerned. 
We taught the virtue of industry. You know, we're going to use manpower. We can always build more infrastructure later. That I'm not worried about. Lanius, S P E L, spell. Uh, we're smart. We want him to be smart, so he can be a smooth talker. Negotiator? Mm, he's going to definitely be a melee hacker when we get, when, by the time we're done with him. So with only three research slots, that's not great. I want another one. Executives, colonize, feeding the cohort. It's not bad. Beseech Flagstaff for aid. The ways of the Legion. Infantry, technology, research, speed. And we're also very basic on just a lot of the bare tech, so we've got a lot of stuff to do. Um, the changes of season. Riley Morrison has managed to carve a precarious community out of the town of Fort Summers. We cannot expect to build a supply line north without its conquest. Who eventually? Roswell that ends well. The cold has fallen while its survivors prophecy doom at the hands of the ones above. Lannis is ready. And perhaps we should do something with their equipment. Apache Assault. The Mescaleros. Mescaleros, the president thinks himself a true chieftain. Her, or herself a true chieftain. Well, sure, the true meaning of strength. And then Dies Irae. The monks of Santa Fe recite their chants to a dead god from a dead world. What need have we for their hymns? Except training too. Gillen organization first. So we have the Legion. And we're part of the Kaiser's Legion. Uh, a cult of Mars. Pretty good overall. Hurts recruitable population factor, but that's okay for better army XP game. Better core creation costs, which I love. The Legion believes Kaizo to be the son of Mars, a god of war who brought a cleansing fire upon the earth so that his son may conquer it all. They're fiercely devoted to Kaizar. Rejection of automation. Kaizo is envisaged a society that works together in unison. The reintroduction of machines and other pre war tools would damage or drive Kaiser set forth in his subjects. Could ultimately be his downfall, however, though. Should it get out of hand? We only have local leaders, really? I don't believe that. Oh, whoops. My bad. I guess we have to be at peace. My bad. Staging grounds. Lannis can sense weakness in any army, including his own. He must train a court's newest recruits up to the standards of the Legion. And if some of them may die, it is a sacrifice he is willing to make. Well, since we're here, I guess. Uh, sure, why not? James Ward. Camouflage Master. You are looking good. Nice. Are you special forces? You are special forces. I'm just gonna go all around the place here. There you go. You. I love being inspirational. We're just inspirational people, that's all. Hey, the reservation? Sure. I'll take pipe guns and whatnot. Why not? Pop them out. Really drive home that army XP. Beast of the East. Ooh. And Lance's East. In, uh, orders kept, but kept quite harshly. The fear of the flag of the bull inspires causes men to flee their homes from his armies, but every person just d so is just one less prolific to have to bring the Legion civilization to. Guys, you just go in. Just zoom. Just, just zoom in. Roswell. Good. We are going to pacify the East as harshly as we need to. We need train someone, that's fine. Go ahead. Training ground's good. And Apache Assault. Yeah. Well, let's do... This guy's DS What else do we have here? Mustering Cohort. No, it's not terrible. It's better to have it than not, I guess. Hearts Captain come a little. Lance, of course, in its infancy. With a single tribe under its belt and few resources to speak of, although promising, his expedition to the east must gain more experience and get a lay of the land before it can realize its full potential. Um, we're also going down conventional warfare, which is kind of unique. Well, conventional warfare is not unique, but you think you would have something more than just conventional warfare, but that's just us, I guess. Luke Price. Alright. Hmm, huh. That's what we're building already, huh? Sure. Saws. Special Forces gets dynamite. Slave collars. Basic caravan stuff. Doggos. Sure. Revenge of Tank Rifles, support equipment. Got a lot of stuff research already, it's not bad. Dearest Yere. Um, beseech Flag for A. We can ask Kaiser for aid in conquering the East, though he may say no. Let's hope it does not come to that.
Animal friend. That's an interesting. You know what? I always do inspirational. This guy. Even a bigger army under him. Screw it. Why not? After that. Ooh, actually. Legion's working. He's un unlike the NCR, Legion knows how to keep the slaves about railways in line. The Spolia Opima. Interesting. The Consul of Officiorium. Abba Famulatus. Even the Legion, someone must do paperwork, such as drafting legal documents, record recording slave uh, sales and purchases. Currently, M. Licinius Crassus holds a position, former frumentari. Uh, he doesn't scan any methods if they provide profit, be it threats or kidnapping. Andrea Brixley. Huh. I'll teach him what I want to know, just don't hurt them anymore. Huh. Military theorist. Frumentari Hadrian. The rules of war aren't new. Thousands of years of innovation and design will still fail to proper application. Failed a proper application of brain and brawn. A devil's robot and the hardest slaves of going find cracks in systems, but spirit and discipline have tolerances far stronger than plastic and steel. Not sure if I'll stay with motorized, we'll see. Maybe maybe not. I don't know. Mortar. Please. As much as I want to grind up for the army XP, we're here to conquer fast. Summers, eh? Knowledge of a new tribe. After a conquest of the Archdiocese, our scouts have been contacted by members of Scorpion's Bite. They claim to have knowledge of a tribe hidden in the valleys to the north. Uh, filled with pre-war technology, protected by robots and led by a physical goddess in the wasteland. A goddess known as Diana, and Mother Moon. A deity who speaks to them through sh shamans and speakers. Perhaps it's worth an investigation, perhaps? Um, change of the seasons. Yeah. Riley Morrison's managed to carve out a precarious community out of the town of Fort Summers. We can expect to build a supply line north without its conquest. A bloodstained olive branch. When we arrived, the tribe's advanced technology, automated defenders, and marvelous irrigation system were even the most amazing thing. It was her, the woman the shamans led us to, Diana. A beautiful, terrifying figure, larger than any creature in the wasteland, with a majestic voice that carried through the chamber effortlessly. Just seeing her could scare someone into faith and submission, the feeling of standing before a true god. Diana was still a being of light that, apart from the world and its dross. Diana, over the course of two hours, questioned the purpose of the Legion and its goals. She seemed to float above the Legion and its dreams in Kaiser's synthesis. What was Kaiser? But another of the tribal leaders? A great one, perhaps, but the Legion was not the first army to unite the Wasteland. What would make Kaiser unique from any of the other armies that were the dust of the world? Kaiser sought a synthesis to create a true society, but what made Lanius convince Kaiser would create it? And where would Lanius be? She would, near her closing arguments, attempt to present an offer to Lanius, saying that she could help make Lanius, or remake Lanius, into something better, and that he and her could work together to end Kaiser and rebuild the Legion from the bottom up. A stronger Wasteland, a stronger world. As long as Kaiser holds your leash, you will never be your own man, all of your accomplishments, your glory. It will be remembered as his, and you forgotten. Who are you who does not make your own history? Saying that she could help Lanius to echo through eternity, that they could work together and leave their mark in history. There would be no need for the Legion when they were through. Um, is this going to screw this other tree down here? Because this is different. Looking to the east. Take the first steps to form a rival Legion to scare the east as Kaiser does west. Honestly, this might screw everything up here. The ways of his tribe applies him to his legion. Another research slot to take Texas. Uh, nice. Setting them free. Suptis Liege Mars? Huh. Over Mexico. Beast of the South. Minerva. Series Conquer of Colorado, but that's Oklahoma. Okay, Pain of Rock, Baggers, Ghoul Paratroopers. The more Colorado we conquer, the more infrastructure we shall gain. Masters of the East, Nothing the Yard, Cathalfrax, Free. Finishing what we started. Picking up the pieces. I 
echoes of the past. Kaisar's will. From one Kaisar to another. The throne for an emperor. Um, I don't know. Uh, pact and secret of pact for strength. After which, if we enter secret pact, after conquest of New Mexico, he'll ally with the twin mothers and betray Kaisar. But a cohort down a path of change and upheaval. Your words are weak. I, mean, I know my, I know my strength. Conquest and glory. Well, hmm. Uh, that's a good question. We're gonna ravage Mexico and into Paul's failure. Pursue emergency wartime policies and more. I've never gone down as packed in secret, but this this other tree makes it so like that you can do this and be even more conquering. I think I'm going to keep going to Conquering Pact. Someday we'll go back this route, but with this with sub mod, you're weak. I know my strength. It, make, it makes sense for us to do this, though. For intelligent. Intelligent means we should go this way. Hmm. You will ally with the twin mothers and betray Kaisar. But we have this unique focus tree here. I think we're best to go this way. We know what is best for us. You show a rejector. For now. Mommy Diana, but whatever. Um, also, with uh, overall blues tech, it's generic overall blues generic decisions are revamped. Um, we went with the radical scientists because we have a lot of subjects we can experiment with or on. And this is deadline, of course, so we can conquer it fast, fast, fast. A thunder army is pretty nice too. Thunder chariots aren't too bad, but they're unique. Should you like? Change of seasons. Um, Apache Assault, but memories of the Hyde Marks. Or Hyde Marks. The Hyde Marks were one of Kaiser's greatest challenges in Arizona. Lansing incorporates some of the traditions in the Legion today. These just, guys just going. Zooming. All one front. For now. New crossroads, get more experience. Oh, you're just hanging out. Okay. I figured as much. Uh, let's see. The main army. Hang out here. You guys go right here. You go right here. Pew. Very nice. Fetch you assault. Yep. When Miss Gellis present thinks yourself a true chieftain, you both show the true meaning of true strength. We read that one. The fate of the monks. As the monks sat by the waters of the coast and wept, a new fate revealed or awaited them. But the monks were not fated to be slaves. Secure the Eastern Bank. With the destruction of the Summer's Federation, we can submit to control the Eastern Bank. Well, eventually. What do we got here? Starved dog? I wish that day never came. Aggressive attacker. Ooh, executive slaves. Standard bearer. Organization works, but that's pretty good. And trainer. Not, oh, right. Legion purist. Walking between attacks, defense, and speed. Tucson emissary. Motorized vehicles. Ooh. Skinwalker. Uh, they're all very good, actually. All quite good. I'm going to that manpower, too, just in case. Um... Of course, I do like a lot of political power. We will need a lot of PP. Arms organizer. Fitted infantry equipment costs. And so again, field medic. I like that a lot too. Ooh, we have to go with Paxton uh, Aberdeen. Um, the Paxton ran a struggling trading business out at Long Night before the luggage arrived. Raiders, unpaved roads, and a struggling economy had left them nearly flat broke. With Legion of Control expanding eastward, the Raiders dried up and the caps began to flow. A man nearly broken by the waste can now thrive thanks to the Legion. All of his caravans began offering discounts on transactions through Legion coin, his love of the bull pushing his dominance further. More money, more political power, plus sense of love. Arrow breaker, not bad. 20% factory for repair speeds, interesting. Caged songbird, more compliance and reconnaissance. Broken mascaro. Pit of End is alright. Chain gang organizer, not bad. Screw the Eastern Bank. Same man control the Eastern Bank, yeah. Forging a vast razor sharp scythe. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, that's Mosquito. Oh. Oh, we're not at war with executives yet. Darn it. What was I doing? I was being dumb. My bad. Oh, well, they had the pass. We should have went to them beforehand, because they actually have money there. Yeah, we have no money. Promote the node when we can. We want more money. And. Nice. Let's get all nation. That's going to be a tough to play as, especially against Linus. Right, let's see what happens. Take a little extra time, get a little, a little more army XP. Makes me happy. But what about the scythe? Easy. I love it. So after that one, Vault Savages. There you go. That's what I'm going to do next. You come here. Well, Linus occupied Fort Summer is here to decide what to do with its inhabitants of the spirited little village. Forge them into an army of slaves, steal the riches, and seize their fortunes. Slaves. I love slavery. Absolutely love it. Oh, I forgot to build stuff, didn't I? Oopsie. As you saw, I also love infrastructure. Nice. What a city, hey? Hired cohorts. Not bad. Tribal Hastati. Outside of volunteers, outside of battalions. Petty criminal conscripts. Raider conscripts. I really don't like that. No undesirables. I don't like desi undesirables. They're undesirable for a reason. Four fathers, the four daddies. A few for the navy. Well, at least you have someone here. Live boy? Hey, he's got someone there too. God, you can really feel the the death of the research speed for us. Oof. Um, I just want more war. I want conflict. Also, we can't do a lot of this stuff. We don't have good enough tech yet. Uh, machete is good. Let's grab this one. We're so basic on everything, it's not funny. The fate of the monks. As the monks sat by the waters of Pecos and wept, a new fate awaited them, but the monks were not fated to be slaves. Their trade note, Pecos has passed. The fruits of victory. The Mescara survived the Great War. On the heart of the Mescal plant, and quenched their thirst on the sweet fruit of the yucca tree under the burning sun. They prospered despite the Great War and its aftermath, forging a home in the wasteland. Now the survivors tend to their orchids, under the eyes of the Legion, another in the line of the would-be conquerors, but Lannis would learn much from his foes, and even the Mascaro's former leader, Lozen, would admit he was not without them, or without wisdom. For the beast from the east believed imitation was the sincerest form of flattery. The patch's nomadic ways will serve us well. We can learn much from the warriors. 80 units of basic weaponry? Bro, that's not enough. Do better than that. We deserve more than that. We need more manpower, too. Um, in the meantime... Mm, we could do that. Special forces. Yeah, we'll focus on special forces first. Why not? Because we can. And then Roswell that ends well, which we read earlier. Um, the ways of the Legion. Lannis combines the ferocity of travels with the skills of civilized society. Let's just prepare. Travel warfare. Although the Legion rejects reliance on technology, the cohort must make concessions given life on the frontier. And Legion advisors. Although the cohort is part of the Legion. Oh, we could always use more instructions from Flagstaff. We don't want to risk a change in our new subjects corrupt reductions, do we? Spread the cult of Mars. It's not enough to spread the flag of the Legion. We shall save the East and teach them the ways of Mars and his prophet. The great Kaiser's words will be known by all. Turning the page. The monster monasteries of Santa Fe have fallen. The bones of Leibowitz are ash. And yet there is a lot of learning in this place. Hallowed tomes which are worth studying. The monks have hoarded not just the words of the dead god, but books on crafting, healing, and more. In and even the scrivenings of a carpenter and another Kaiser may be worth studying. How can one be a fisher of men? Memorabilia. Let the monks serve the legion. Mm, building that's going to take too long, in my opinion. I would rather have stability and research speed. Hmm. <laughs> I'd just be a builders of men. Ritz and Visionary. Uh, final lesson on Diana. Hmm. Cage Songbird, Colorados. 
uh, was the first of the East to follow the Legion. Some might say uh, uh, th there's honor in that, but Colorado remains silent about what she has done to save her people. I kind of like that. Cage Songbird? I like that one. I've been working on that compliance already. Vault Savages. Executives think they're all that, with the metal armor and underground bunkers, but we've seen their symbol before, scattered across the waste. It is weak men, or that cling to the past for strength. Today's New Mexico. Ooh. Heart, the Land of Heart's Desire. Legend of the Butcher. Replace hard cohorts with recruited auxiliaries. Oh boy, wow. Mustering cohort. Roswell's sailors do not tell us by what means how their tools and spells worked. Perhaps we can learn the secrets by reading the temple of a beefy? A beefy? FBI. Oh. <laughs> FBI. Wow. Strip the place for metal. Little plasma rifles. Scavenger metal. Scare, oh, scavenger rare metals. I can totally speak right now. This would be better to do it. Um, oh, no. Circuitry. Circuitry is harder to get. No, but you can always get uh, circuitry later on. So you should really go for composite materials. That makes more sense to me. This one, mustering core, the core of the east. Executive slaves. Huh. A false goddess. We gain monster of the east. Legionary glory. More division recovery rate and organization. Hardcore of the auxiliaries and twin mothers. A research slot. I don't want a research slot. Lumber mills. See, so take shape. Intelligence agency. Ooh. Fort Summers is now core. The Eastern Code. Frogman State is now core as well. Pueblo Chemical Depot, huh? See, so take shape. Our outpost has begun to grow into the eyes of the Legion. Merchants from across the wasteland travel to buy and sell in Lantis Market, and he's commissioned a great form for them to ply their wares. Use more manpower too, why not? Oh, we can't do this level support equipment. That really actually really really sucks for us. Um planes, sure. These guys and their metal men. A fallen empire. Well, I'd rather do this one. Can you have at thee and do well? Hopefully. I mean, obviously, encirclements are more important, but still. I don't know. Either one of you get down there or something. Conquer, destroy, enjoy them. Oh, that's Frogman. Cool. I don't think it's going to last much longer, but whatever. There you go. Oh, that was a waste of time then. Yay! Today's New Mexico. Almost overnight, Lannis has doubled the size of the Legion. The tribute for Flagstaff flows without end. And the impassive Mark sets its sights on its new conquests. Look at his works and despair. Right, so this one's going to be a way more of a challenge. Mm, we'll shove you three here. We'll shove most of you here. Don't think this will go very far, but we'll keep you here too. I want to do all the unique ones that we can. Curse of Knowledge, Peter Van Doom, Arrow Breaker. Construction speed is only 5%. It's not that great. Uh, yep, Sheriff Boucher is not bad. But we can use these guys immediately. Trainer? Standard Bear is pretty good. Aggressive Attacker is okay. Starved Dog. Vexillarius Agrippa. The standard of the Legion inspires those who serve under the bull. Not only is it a symbol of strength and unity, but a reminder of what they must protect. Sure, the standard fell in battle, all know that their lives are forfeit in the eyes of the legate. Yeah, why not? The land of heart's desire, before the war. Some called New Mexico the land of enchantment. It's a beautiful state. But Lanius thought of it by an older name. Lanius learned to fight and conquer in Arizona, but it was in New Mexico he learned to rule. It was not enough to crush an enemy in battle. Lanius learned. 
what came after. Butchering a town will leave no one to feed the legion, and slaves c could not glory, have glory in his conquests. To that end, Lanius took the collar from Colorado's neck and let the executive's craftsmen forge new guns for the cohort, and over time, the thoughts behind his mask began to change. Building like conquest has a pleasure of its own. Very true. But that cannot happen if they still resist. Honestly, we can, I need the arms workshop right now. I like this one. Because I want to start making more dynamite, start making uh, more saws, or, you know, machine guns. Um, because I threw on some chem companies for these guys, and we have anti-tank, we've got fire teams. I wouldn't mind throwing on demo teams. It gets a little more soft attack here, too. It makes us very strong in the first part of this campaign. Followers of the Apocalypse. Uh, we're, we're changing a little bit. You know, let them come. They'll only do good as long as they don't complain about us. Do that. Um, we have motorized, which is all right. I don't want to use motorized. I don't even care. Equities. They're not bad. They're unique. I like them. But they might fall off eventually. I can't train more Triorii. It is what it is. Also, this is an 80 day focus. Oh my god. But we're going to grab this because we don't need to just find anybody here. And uh, you know what? Let's go. You know what? Do that too. This way we get a lot more political power. Over two a day, which is fantastic. I wouldn't mind improving country management too for even more weekly stability. That'd be great, I think. Oh, uh, we got... What? Were we researching barrage balloons? Okay, then. I wasn't planning on that, but okay. I don't know if we get any more sophisticated tech, so I'm kind of resistant to do all this stuff up here. Um, attention. You get more, slightly more factory output. 2 and 12. Uh, 10% more. 10% more. You actually get more max factories at the top one. I want more max factories. Work is needed. And, uh, let's do it in that, which is good. I love the slave collars. Love my slaves as much as one can. Yeah, there you go. I want the best special forces. But we can't. Darn it. It's alright. We can't even build anything either. My goodness. Get more stability. So now we get two political power pretty much. Still not bad. I want to see if they'll run into our lines at all. So as you see, we are kind of lacking motorized vehicles, support equipment, anti-tank. That's why I went with the arms workshops. A false god. But we do need to work on coring a lot of stuff because we've got a lot of territory that's not incorporated. Uh, let's see it takes shape. So, because then this will get us to here. Oh, actually, is, is that core intelligence? It's just not bad. Yeah, they'll get us to do a lot of stuff here. So, we're gonna war them now. Will they try to fight us? Maybe, maybe not. I kind of hope so, but perhaps not. Uh, the Pueblo Chemical Depot? The old ones left toxic chemicals at the old temple. Perhaps some of the charms and tools used to keep the poisons at, uh, at bay are of use to us. Oh, why not? Well, we'll see. Go ahead. You should be fine. Punch a hole through them. There is a river there, so start helping out. You know what? You might just be able to do all this. And go. There go. Sorry, Diana. But someday, another campaign. Probably a long time from now. We'll actually incorporate you. Or want you here with us. Oh. Well, that's certainly not good. The Eastern Code. How can we govern the East if each tribe and town has its own laws and customs? Lanny shall order scribes to synthesize these doctrines with the words of the Legion. Drugs of the prolificates, huh? Disperse a tribe. Let us slay the sun. The hidden folk. The rumors of a strange cave dwelling stir in the southeast of New Mexico. Perhaps we should investigate. A god of the tribes, to Lannis's dismay, some of the tribal see him as a god. Of course, not all gods are benevolent. Ah, oh, conscripted principes. Princeps? Princeps. Close enough. Trained. You know what? We can't go wrong with these guys. Also, I do want more stability as well. I'm not sure what that actually does, but we'll try it anyways. Oh, deadline. Yeah. 
Some fear Lanius and others know that his coming will save them and set their people free in ways they cannot see. His victories are swift and honest, purchased with blood. Each victory provides Lanius with glory, which rallies warriors to his cause, gaining him aid from Flagstaff, or makes the merchants of Texas send him tribute. Good. Another core, good. I was actually forcing the defense. Look at that. Should be able to do enough damage that it won't really matter too much. Left. To let us slay the sun. The sun dogs stand in our way. Let them learn that even the sun is but a reflection of the glory of the Legion. Executive slaves. The executives were no match for the armies of Mars, but the conquest left the cohort with a population of slaves in need of a new master. You move fast enough, you can just get across. Darn it. No, just go across. It's fine. Another Good. Hey, in a segment. Don't mind if we do. Nice. Good stuff. We're struggling in the south, but why don't you just move north? Might make it easier on us. <coughs> I love it when we cut them off. Of course, they still have that there, too, but still. The Twin Mothers feed north. The Twin Mothers is a tribe have seemed to tap their last lesson, Landis' forces, filling the valley and taking control of the sacred temples and fields. When the time came to finally bring Diana herself out for questioning, the Legion was left empty-handed. Diana would have opened up her true home in paradise to Wastelanders and Twin Mothers refugees, seeking to heal from the injuries they took and prepare for defense against further Legionary attacks. If they want their land back, they can come and get it. Diana has fled north. It'll be some time until we can mount an offensive that far into Colorado. Twin Mothers' tribe has been Inflicted at catastrophic loss by the bloody hands of Lannis' cohort. Their female warriors fought bravely, yet as brave as they were, they eventually had to retreat. Diana watches from afar. A burning anger still oh, growing. Uh, she will pull this back, at least that's what she tells herself. But will she? No tribe will escape our hands. Turn if you must. Wow, that's a lot of manpower. Love it. We are at peace. Peace of a war? No. Single power? That's fine. Force coring? That'd be bad. I want you to take to core all this stuff here. 44? What if we just waited and just start building up even more? Let us lay the sun. Oh! Blackson becomes now state too. The sun dog's days in this wasteland fell into the night, but Lenius will light a new torch of civilization, albeit more literally than they expected. We will slay the sun first. End the Brotherhood. I just want constant war. The Brotherhood spreads across the wasteland like ticks. They do nothing but scavenge for technology, never dreaming, never doing. What is their purpose? The answer is clear. To die for our greater glory. Ah, Twin Mothers, welcome aboard. Diana was not careful enough with her trade nodes. She left money on the table. Absolutely unacceptable. I'm going to promote it again after this one. Excellent. Oh, oh yeah, we can. Good. Okay. I uh, can't do that one there. Boop. Oh, I want to go mechanized just because we have the vehicles. And that could be actually quite good. We can't get intermediate vehicle tech, but that's going to hurt our infantry. And really, once we have this other... Uh, we can go day down asymmetric warfare and go ancient tactics as well. And it doesn't benefit vehicles as much as I would like it to, because we get benefits to walking into tree and even lowering our combat width. I like the motorized warfare though, I really do. But we're gonna maximize infantry as much as possible. Vehicles are alright. Optimized trading, huh? You need more money. Makes sense. 
Army Nebraska. Hello? Alpha and Omega. Alright. Interesting. Unique. Different. Ah. Do what you can. And do what you must. Speed and spread. Encircle and destroy. Please do not get encircled yourself. Hey, look! They actually forced. They actually uh, encircled three divisions, not just one, but three. Fantastic. Good. The hidden folk. Via interrogation of former board members of the Blue Rose Society, Lanius was eventually able to grasp the location of one prominent location of note, a vault, one that was unfinished before the Great War, but one that was at one point settled since then. It was known as Vault 86B on their heathen maps. In military uh, tactics, vaults have always been a simple conquest. Solitary nature, lazy in demeanor, and foolish enough to believe that their iron walls would keep Mars at bay. We are finally directed to the location of the vault following the guidance and directions of the board member. Against Lanius' expeditions, rather than finding a vault filled with lazy prolificates for slaughter, they instead found an empty husk. What was left of a painted series of empty corridors? The vault's iron hallways code an undecipherable and alien prolificate script. The usual written word mutated into a code of strange acrylic characters. Before Lanius executed him, the board member was able to translate one of the words when pressed, seeing that the inhabitants of the vault were known as the SCB. SCBI. It was a waste of time to come here. FBI, CI, C, I, A, no, okay. The instructor, arms organizer, eh. Can we do anything down here yet? Dang it, I want to do stuff down here. Hmm. Well, that doesn't really help us out either. Chief of the Army, two sons, emissary. We're not really focusing on this one, and we decided to go the other direction. Walk in the tree. A legion is no longer a band of tribes forced into having purpose. Service was but a child when it was inducted into the legion, and knows no other life besides one with a sword in hand. When Lannis announced his expedition to civilize the rest of New Mexico and whatever lies beyond, he was honored to take the torch of order and purpose in the lawless wastes. We're going to focus a lot on infantry. We're going to be very infantry heavy. Oh, he must go into them. Max and expedition is pretty, looking pretty thick. Let's see what you can do. Beautiful. Lupus is last orders. While the Wolf Queen may have fled north, her followers have done what to no other foe has done before. They've stolen her prize. The men of the Sun Dogs have slaughtered their own women and children to keep them from us. Our forces have found men screaming and broken from the acts they committed. Other patrols were wiped out to a man, and larger portions of our forces were wiped out just taking out these rogue elements. Kaiser will be displeased, but it's up to you to decide how she will handle the rebels. Finish rebels and strike the record. The Wolf Queen arrives. Spare only a quarter of the men. Slaughter everybody. You know we have to do slaughter everybody. We have to. Why wouldn't we? I mean, we can still have a detachment of maybe chariots and whatnot, but we'll see. We probably still will use them, but still. Logan's fall. Nice. Good. Raiders of the Lost of All. The Flanders runners grew fat upon the loot of the executives, but Lannister's conquest left him with a choice. He could take their slave population for his own and direct them to farm the banks of the Pecos for the Legion. Or he could preserve the executives in a position of honor, or they might use have, might use their arts for the legion. They have no need for mental men. You can find more slaves elsewhere. Well, honestly, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go with find more slaves elsewhere. Um, because we can always get more water from the uh, other people. What are we really missing here? Lots of anti-tank. That's not good. We are patient. Go at least two for now. Oh, also. Bigger and thicker. 
way we like them. Good. Oh, who's this? Yelakaria? Hmm. Oh, we know he's starved dog. I wish that day never came. Aggressive attacker. When the dust was settled, the Legion had conquered the executives. Few resisted against such an overwhelming force. Those dumb enough to openly fight were slaughtered like animals, but those of the spirit of the Legionnaire were allowed to redeem themselves in the eyes of the legate. You know what? I'll do this one. This one's like someone I wouldn't choose. And the Brotherhood. Oh. Yeah. The Red Okies. Some painted rock divisions join our ranks. Iron Mercenaries. Forest Contract. By inviting our alliance to the Legion, we were promised to pay them in advance with a large number of spe specific states when we conquer them. If we ever own them, we'll be forced to give the Iron Lance the following states. Although we would never use our armor, it cannot be denied it has its uses. Well, we'll see. Optimizer trading. We need more money. And then probably improve country management too. Get more weekly stability. Still, something very good to get. This wouldn't be bad either. Screw what we're going to do anyways. Hurt ourselves a little bit. It's fine. Won't be the first time we hurt ourselves for this. Support equipment. Motorized. Yeah. Battle Hoover Dam. Hello. The ultimate prize in Colorado, Dog City, lies within reach. But first, we must deal with the Scorpion's Bites. Hey. Looks like they demanded territory. Looks like we'll get to them quite fast, actually. Huh. Go ahead. How about you? Sure, Legion, yeah. Interesting. Mercenaries, eh? Prepare for the march north. The hang dogs sit at the edge of the world, far from our homes in Arizona. We need to prepare for push north, but we will come. The Red Okies. Ultimately, we're tasked to conquer Dog City, not Oklahoma. Our group of warriors from Oklahoma have taken an interest in our Legion, wishing to join us. And why would we deny them this opportunity? We can beat these metal men. No, this is our territory that we shall take. Not yours. They might not like them. They might actually demand territory from us. We'll see. Oh, there's another one over there, too. Oh, that sucks. Can't spawn these. It's fine. Let's do that. Nice. Assimilation. 900 days left. More stability. Restore for bliss. Begin the scavenging program. That'd be good. Yeah, we must begin for the march north. Lessons from a sister, huh? Closing the chapter. To Dog City. The hang dogs worship their dogs as sacred totems. Believe in the faithful hounds serve them in this life and the next. Dog City itself is rich with treasures of the old world. Army swept north and take the city for ourselves. Interesting. How strong are these guys? That's a lot of manpower. 24 divisions? We're roughly, literally the same. We definitely would need more spec ops. Especially with how weak we look-ish. But we're pretty good at the defensive. If we do go to war with them, it wouldn't be terrible. We should get more defense. Bolstered Vanguard? Be a good idea. One, two sons, 80s, New Hammond. I'd like to increase more political power. Force coring. 
All of them, huh? The Red Okies to Dock City. Uh, we can do that. Why not? Oh, you are special forces. There's no way you can become Triori. I'm just going to throw you here anyways for now. The Junior Glory, huh? Let's see what you can do. This shouldn't be too bad over here. Two, one, not good. Two, it's all right. Dog City. The old boy. We have to wait for them to do this. We'll have time for oh, the rest of these. Uh, weapons of the past, although the executives have little in the way of the skill, the weapons are almost impressive. Meanwhile, the Mascaro Apache have inspired terror in their neighbors for centuries. Now they'll work for us. Lessons from the East. Atlantis has taken an extraordinary force, or expeditionary force, and carved the beginnings of an empire. Gosh, your soul room has boomed, and the banners of the fallen peoples lie, lie in the Legion's halls, but there's been much of worth among the peoples of the East. Atlantis and Luggett shall learn much here. Could we go to war and do okay against them? Let's see. Our divisions are not super thick and strong, but it's worth checking out. Regardless. Got quite a bit of money, too. Actually, I might use that money right now. Maybe that one. I don't care. Mm. I want more manpower, really. So we do this. Oh. Can you guys actually win here, maybe? You actually might be able to. How many divisions do they have? Up to 28. We have 26, which is not bad. If we move fast enough, you might be able to pull off an encirclement or two. Hello. We will see. Alright. Hey, there's one encirclement. Commission authority is not bad. are good. Weapons, lessons of the East. From the East. Good. I'll have a mouse since you're over the river anyways. Three divisions. That's kind of big. It's going to be costly for us, but that's alright. Fine. You want to core them, of course. The west will be the east will be helped once the west is taken. You know what? Just go this way first. Let the chairs do the work. Good. Look at that. Very nice. Go here. Hmm. You know what? We might be able to do that. Maybe if we piss them off, it doesn't really matter in the end, too. Oh, would you look at that? Another three divisions encircled. Oh, they're also fighting Iron Alliance, too. I didn't realize that. Good. Go ahead. Have fun with it. Poor hangdogs. Reviving the market. Castro Sol Rubrum was once a prosperous town on the banks of the Rio Grande. With time, Lanius can make it so again. Let him hold court and issue the justice of the Legion to his subjects. Now, would you look at that? Beautiful. Dog City's open. Which I think I've been to once, maybe? Maybe not? I don't remember. More money. Ah, we split them. All the hangdogs, carriers and refugees from Colorado, have confirmed that Atlantis' core force have overwhelmed the defenders of Dog City and taken the hangdog capital. Although the sounds of battle rage on in the ruins of the city, with bodies and bullets falling from the towering buildings, fighting has largely ceased. 
The titular dogs of the city work both for and against the defenders, striking the forces of Lance's cohort from drainage pipes and other small places they can hide. Meanwhile, Lance's cohort and their armies continue their advance outside the city, heading towards the remaining strongholds and hangdog control. Can the dogs of war hold out and make a comeback, or will they be snuffed out like any under Lance's cohort's boot? The hangdogs will fall. Of course they will. Why would they not? Good job, Iron Alliance. Good job. Beautiful. Finish them off. We're going to take them all for now. If I have to give these territories to them, totally fine. Oh, and they took this territory anyway, see? I'm okay with that. Oh, yeah, Broken Hearts. Oh, Broken Hearts, huh? Did I place them? Maybe not. I should, probably should place them. Do we actually have planes? We got tons of manpower, don't get me wrong, but. We actually have a plane or two. Look at that. Fantastic. So. Yeah. Kazador of the East, huh? Maybe some force coring, but that would be cost too much for us to really want to do that one. Um, pretty nice. Heal, boy. Doxy has fallen to Lanius. And now the hangdogs whimper like all beneath the legion. But perhaps we can get some use from them. Now, core, New Mexico is firmly under Lanius's grip, but if it were to leave, it would no longer be so. According to the east with the eastern legion. Oh, you lose population. Which is fine. House training. Hmm. The march west. Cancel the deadline. No strings on me. Leave the legion and create Lanius's horde. Oh, Doxy did good. Ooh. The Eastern Empire. Gets a good boy. Replace No Mercy with Kaiser's Warden. Daily time again goes down. We still become a puppet of them. Although Lannis will remain part of the Legion, we should rule as a puppet of Kaiser. For what can be greater than Lannis' eyes and a stir of Kaiser until his dying breath? The March West. It's time to tell Kaiser that my mission's been completed. A job well done, painting the blood of the prolificates. Or no strings on me. I can do whatever I want. We have no masters. I think I'm gonna go with no strings on me. The Legion will re get really pissed off at that. The rest of the Legion will, but yeah, that's all right. It happens. Now they finally established themselves. I guess there's more research points too, which is why I like it as well. I might be able to backstab the Iron Lance later on too, maybe. But we'll see. I was training with the destruction of the hangdogs. Lannis must have said their fate. He could simply enslave them all. Another banner beneath the feet of the Legion. But, to their devotion to the dogs is admirable. A devotion that they need only shift to Kaisar. Perhaps the hangdogs should be granted a place of honor as the Beastmasters of the Legion. Since we're here. Can I convert you? No. I don't want to get rid of them because we're already 20 combo with here. Oh, wait. So there's a Beastmasters, heal dog. Dog support companies. I can always use more slaves. I can use them doggos. But I really want to do this one. Replace this one. How many days do we have? We need more divisions. 740. We got time. We got time, yeah. Group country management. Why not? Lessons from a sister. Cooling down. Strip the bunker. Roast Lamar. Acquire cyber dog. Ooh. Uh, the code of salvage. Let Lance create a code of portion of salvage in Dog City. And. Of course, the Legion shall receive a proper portion of all such salvage. Lessons of the Hangdogs. There was much for Lance to learn from the Hangdogs. He could do it worse than adopt some of their ideas. Acquire a cyber dog. Dog City is home to not just beasts of flesh and blood. Dogs augmented by sorcery also roam the streets. But even they shall serve the Lanius and Rose Lamar. Maybe you got rid of that old atom bomb baby haircut, you would still have a nation to call home. But I think we went there. We've done very well. We went all the way up here, too. And I really want us to be independent, probably. I think that's the best choice for us. But regardless, hope you enjoyed our first episode playing as. The Legion. Lannis' Legion. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we continue on with Lannius. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.